Hello and welcome to another week in our garden. Beautiful sunny morning, or was, it's a little bit overcast at the moment but the sun is with us, it's beautiful and warm which I'm pleased to see the sun because we've had one or two blight warnings already this, this week so some good sun and a little bit of wind will dry those potato tops out and that'll be fine now. Now we're going to this week we're going to harvest then we're going to finish the grapevine pruning and we'll just have a peep at that peach tree that somebody's asked me about. Okay I'm going to start the harvest with some rhubarb as you can see it's took its toll with the hot weather and then the cold weather but it's enjoyed the rain it says. just remember when you're harvesting to use both hands and pull them up if you just pull the tops it will snap off and same as before an inch from the top cut off like that some people trim all this but I don't bother we'll trim all that when it gets to the kitchen it's a lot easier right let's pick some Now that one's not so good look, I took it off because it was in the way but there's damage on it and it's not awfully red so that one will be rejected. Let's trim some down. We'll trim a few and then We'll get on with harvesting. Sharp knife, so be careful. I've noticed that this year the rhubarb is not quite as tall as what it normally is. I don't know whether that's the weather. It's certainly not the plant itself. It's had all the feed etc. like normally gets. It could have been that hot weather just stunted the growth a little. But it's nice thick stems so we'll harvest it and then I'll come back to it. Now that looks a little bit better. One of my jobs for later today will be to come down and go through the whole of the plant and take all the dead or dying leaves out, things like this, get rid of these and that one. Not. They're not doing any good so we'll take those out and the, the yellow leaves from the bottom will probably give it a feed of uh, just a balanced feed, just to bring it up. They don't want too much nitrogen, they'll, they'll jump out the ground. Just a balanced feed and then help them get over this cold, wet weather that we've had. That's what we've harvested today. It's quite a lot there for what we shall want for the next pudding or two. The next, we're going to have a couple of these nice lettuce. These are little gem. These are the lettuce we like. So we'll take that one, I think, and that one. Then it'll open this space up a bit. 
I'll just cut them off and then I'll remove the roots afterwards. Now I haven't been able to get down here for 10 days to do any weeding so you can see all the weeds coming up. So we're not a weed free garden at the moment. We'll just lean it over and cut it off. There's one look. The outer leaves will be given to the chickens but the, the centres are beautiful. So we'll have two of those. And we'll take this one as well and just cut it off. There you go. Another lovely lettuce. What I do then is I just cut round and remove the roots. Because we don't really want to leave don't really want to leave the root in the ground because it will just go rotten. It won't shoot again. There you are. These radishes have really swelled up with the rain we've had so we better take a few of those as well I think. Just pull them up. We'll take them up and we'll wash them under the tap. These are called Sparkler, Sparkler 3. But all the advertising for Sparkler 3, they have a white base but these haven't. Like that you see, it should have a white base and these haven't. But never mind, they make good pranks. Yes, we've had some of these, they're very, very nice. I shan't pick too many, but I'll try and get the bigger ones. You see that one there, look, it's split. That's with all the rain we've had, so that'll be rejected. There you go. We'll just take one more. Try and get the biggest. There you go. That's the size we really want. Them. That's the uh, the radishes pit. That one's beginning to crack as well, so I should replace that one as well. There you are. We'll try and throw those to the chickens. They're the radish we're using. They're the radish that are following. I will have to get in. And That'll be, it'll be a weeding afternoon with the rhubarb now. Can't leave it like that, I'll have to take those weeds out. Now the next lot of lettuce is coming on nicely and then the batch to follow these are just starting to germinate now. I'll uh, take a few of these leaves of chard. They were actually grown for Gemma but obviously we can't see Gemma now. But we'll never know next week they might just call call in to deliver some manure so I'll be able to send us some. We'll just take a couple of stems for us. There you are look. Lovely colour. Three of each. Oh. There you are then, there's a little bit of chard. The uh, stems are lovely colour. So if you're watching Jammer, you can have yours in a week or so. We'll just take a few of the pulling or spring onions. Now we have done these a different way, but I'll show you when I plant the next batch, okay? Now, get rid of the knife. There you are then, the, the way I do it now is producing onions like that, so we'll continue doing it. They're not bad onions. Now we're 
up at the tunnels where we keep the brassicas and I'm going to take this cabbage here before it bursts with all this rain and cold they absolutely love it it's doubled in size in a week so we'll take that one so I'll, if you just bear with me while I lift the cover and cut it and then I'll show you right we've got it cut off and I'll just take those bad leaves off so we can show you it what it looks like there you are then one huge cabbage it's actually splitting it's growing that fast it's actually splitting its outer leaves so it's a good job we took that one right i'm going to take this cauliflower here and then if i just show you i really do need if the weather's picking up again to get some leaves over the top of these can you see that one's just beginning to purple a little bit it just wants the leaves pulling in and the elastic band putting on the top but we'll take this one here good gracious oh, it's a bit like pulling you out of bed there you are then there's that nice cauliflower I'll have to chop it Right, there she is. I've cut the root off and I'll just take one or two leaves off and then we'll put in the wheelbarrow. Nice and clean, I'm pleased to say. There you are. I'll dress it down when we get up to the shed because my hands are covered in mud. I'll just show you the Calibrese is coming along nicely now, look. That's fine popped into the greenhouse this is about as warm as it's been for the last 10 days the tomatoes are curling the leaves a little bit with the cold air that was rushing in but they'll be fine they'll get over it right we're just going to harvest some of the cucumbers there's i'm actually going to take four but i'll just show you how many there is before we start cooking as you can see there's masses of them right across so i'm going to take four of the biggest just to ease the pressure on the plant obviously four will be too many for us so we'll pass them over to our friends there's the first one here we'll take sharp knife and just cut them off and then I'll just pass them to down. They're lovely and cool. There we have one. Let's see. Two. That's two. Very nice. Two. I'll have to go around the bank now. Now there's one here that has actually grown through the mesh so I think we better have that one next. If it swells up anymore it'll start rotting on it. So, number three, you can see where it was going through the mesh. That's a nice cucumber. One more round there then. Nice cucumbers there. There you are then. Four nice cucumbers off the plant. That's about seven we've had this season already. And you can see there's loads still coming. And also we're actually moving along canes now. I still have to put another cane in for that one. And these will actually bear fruits down. Now that's the cucumbers harvested, the tomatoes now it's warming up will start turning very very soon so we're not far off harvesting some of the tomatoes. 
Now, on our way back down to the shed, we'll just have a look at the peach tree. Now, we must finish that grapevine. I'm sure it's grown since I cut the rest. Now, somebody asked me on the comments to show the progress of the peach tree. I'm sure it was Stu, I can't remember. I will check tonight though. Anyway, here she is. Doing fine. What flowers we had on it this year, the frost took, but I wouldn't have let it fruit anyway for the next two, maybe three years. But making it into a nice standard. What I will have to bring up is another tie for the top. That one's a bit low now, so I've got some more ties. I'll pop another one on the top. And it's doing quite well. There's nothing really bothering it, no aphid or anything on it. The aphids did attack the bramleys, but the, I've sprayed them with some soap, so they should be all right. The other thing is, just to show you the, the company below me. There's the company of chickens. The three have come off broody now, the only one left on. But they're all laid out having a bit of sun, now the sun's come out. Oh, I said it's wonderful to lay in the sun. Now, remember, it's a stone fruit, so if you want to trim these back a little, best wait till midsummer when there's no chance of silver leaf and hopefully no rain and then just trim the top just to get more breaks on it. That's what I should do. I should probably wait till mid-August and just give it a light trim. Here we are under the grapevine outside the shed. Now I've trimmed all the way along to here and I've just left the end row to show you how I trim the grapevine down. We're up at the grapes and we've climbed up the ladders so I can show you how we trim them back. All I do is, can you see where the grapes are going to be? There and there. I always trim mine just above the second, the second grape bunch, if you like, the second bunch. Then if I do lose one, I've still got one. This small one here has got no grapes on it at all. If I cut it there, this will shoot and be as long as these. So I just take those down like that. This one here, look, it's only got one little flower bunch or grapes on it. So we just cut above that. And then this one, none at all, look. So we'll follow it back and we'll take that off. What I look for is where there's grapes and there's grapes there and then I just cut above there. Now what I have noticed this year that the grapes are further up the stem. Usually the grapes will be down here but they're further up this year. Probably due to that warm weather we had where the grape put on quite a bit of growth before it set its flowers. So that's probably why that's a bit higher. It's the whole vine is like that. I noticed yesterday when I was trimming. This one, look, it's only got one bunch, so we'll just go above that. This one has none at all on it. So I follow that right down and take that off. Likewise, this one, look, it's got one bunch right up there, so we'll we we'll just cut above that. We will be thinning these later on anyway because there's far too many on the vine. And we'll just go round. This one, it's got grapes there, look. Can you see them? And a few there, so we'll just go at the top of that. Now, I like to leave two bunches if you like. And then if one fails, we've always got one. But then again, we'll be trimming it again soon. So I'll probably trim back to here once they've set and got some little grapes on them just to thin the, thin the grapes down a bit. To leave it like it is, is far too many. Now, if I don't take some of these that have got no flowers or grapes on, 
out they'll be two or three feet long in a few days so we must take them all out so it's a case of just keep going through it keep snipping but you can see the growth on this one look and there are some there are some grapes right down here so we'll reduce all that then in all that goodness going up there may as well go into the grapes so I'll proceed to do the whole of this now and then show you it finished now you can see I've trimmed the whole of the vine bank uh, and I'm quite sure in three or four weeks it will want another trim there's loads and loads of grapes hanging on it already as you can see the flowers I think are set now this is what we've harvested today we did pick the strawberries yesterday because it was so wet I'm picking the strawberries today between showers and then tomorrow it's forecast to be a little brighter so we'll actually do the rest of the harvest tomorrow if I want to get the strawberries picked we have uh, been picking them but as you can see the they really are ready for picking and I just don't want to leave them any longer so I'll go along and take these off the normal way you just take them off with a, a top on they've made a good size this year I think that was that damp weather we just then I'll get them picked and as I go if there's any side shoots coming off I'm also going to nip those off as well I don't want them laid in this wet weather any longer I need to get them up now that's the strawberry harvest for today there's lots coming but we need the sunshine to finish them a little bit of slug damage but negotiable but wet weather like this you will get slug damage if we just get a few days sunshine they'll come up beautiful these are the earliest the next crop is over there look that's doing very well at the moment lots of flowers on them and I didn't want to leave them another night in those wet conditions so they're they're up in the house now I'll just take you through what we've harvested today it looks very nice we have the chard red and white four very nice cucumbers we have a cabbage which inside will be pure white make lovely cold soil out there two lovely little gem lettuce a pair of collies one is just beginning to purple look so they all need covering up now some lovely radish one or two split but Diane says she'll take those out later some brilliant guardsman spring onions we're very pleased with those we'll keep uh, growing those now we found out a way of doing it and obviously a good boiling or two of rhubarb now that'll be it for this week that is a very good start to the harvest I'm very pleased with the produce it's done very very well and I'm surprised how clean it is this year many many thanks for being with us thank you for watching many many thanks for subscribing and hopefully we'll see you again next week bye now